just like it's an empire here. And this is some strike, um, the Siva Uruk strike gameplay. Um, so it's like the weekly version. So I'm at 347, it's recommended 350, whatever. Um, so this is the gear I have so far. So I have a Kavavstav 7G06. This is like the setup I would use if you guys want like an SMG style weapon. Um, here I'll spawn in. Alright, well we all know. Um, the brothers. The Keystone 01, um, I really like this setup. Um, might swap to triple tap at bosses. Event Horizon, that's all I have right now. My only legendary, um, heavy is a machine gun. It's pretty good. Um, Iron Gallowhorn, I'm working on getting the Gallowhorn. I'm sorry, my friends are and they're gonna teach me how to get it. This you get for completing the campaign, which is the Young Wolf's Howl. Really good. Nemesis Star, I got from an exotic engram. Um, Endling Helm, 342. 350, this I got from hitting rank 2 at the book. 340, 350, 350, and 350 memory of Timur. The Timur, basically, um, uh, any melee hits have a chance of turning. So guys, this is just going to be a little bit of gameplay. Um, so I've completed the campaign. I was streaming it all on Twitch. Um, I got the Kavavstav. What else? Um, completed all of the pretty much new stuff on this character. Um, there's still a lot more. I haven't played any Supremacy. I haven't done all the Plagueland stuff. I don't have the Gallant Orn. Like I said, I I don't have all of the Siva calcified thingamajigs. Now let's see if I can proc this. No. Let's try it on the Centurion. Um. Fuck. No, I'm out. Okay. But um, we'll test that this this turn for sure. The sniper. God damn it. Oh, we're <laughs> already dead. This sniper is really good, my opinion. But, um. So, tonight, I'm gonna hopefully be getting the Gallowhorn doing the Nightfall. And just so you guys know, you can all do Challenge of Elders to get 365 loot. Um. Which is really cool. Um. So, you can get 365 from that. I'm gonna do some more Archons Forge. Or actually, I haven't done any Archons Forge, my bad. Um. Holy shit. Um, I might want to swap my sword for this. But, um... Oh, this is hard. Um... What was I gonna say? Let me check the modifiers. Um, juggler arc burn and catapult. Okay. There's an arc burn. None of my weapons are arc weapons. Wonderful. Um, what else? Um, so tomorrow I'm gonna be doing whatever is left on this class, whether that's getting the Gallowhorn, doing the Nightfall, doing Heroic Strikes. The Daily Heroic Daily Crucible will probably do on this character just to get it quick and easy. Um, what else? Probably do some more Archon's Forge on this character, do some more patrol stuff, get some more of those SIVA equivalents. Um, What else? I will also be doing the entire campaign quest on my Hunter. When I'm doing it on my Hunter, I'll be recording it for you guys on YouTube. Um, so yeah. And then, well, when I'm doing it on my Warlock, probably the same day or possibly Thursday, um, I will not be recording that. I was quickly completing it, activating patrol, getting another sword and stuff, and whatever. So yeah. That is the plan for this week, and... Friday, as soon as I get home from school, we are starting up the raid with Lick Nation, as you guys know. So that will be streamed, of course, for going for Worlds first. Um, so that's exciting. Um, so we're trying to get all the stuff that we can, whether it's Kavavstavs, Gallowhorns, if the Siva Pulse Rifle is out, um, basically anything that we have access to, we will be attempting to get. I know that this video doesn't actually showcase any new content. I'm sorry it's not either the SIVA ported, um, version of Devil's Lair, but, um, or the new strike, which I have no clue what the name is, um, but it is new stuff, and it's excitement, so yeah.
hopefully you guys don't mind that too much. But um, later there will also be some more of the new content style stuff, such as um, Archon's Forge, Nightfall gameplay. Um, I'm just going to do a video showcasing that you can do Challenge of the El uh, probably tomorrow, showcasing that you can do Challenge of Elders to get 365 loot by um, basically just doing a um, level 30, um, or not level 30, a 30,000 in one game or a 90,000 overall. I actually don't know if they changed the level of the actual challenge builders, but I do know that they said this in the patch notes, that's how I know it is true. Um, what else is there to say? Oh, this shit. Oh, damn it. I actually don't know what level this dude is, but um, we'll check. He is a 343, we'll see what he's using. Questing Beast, Fusion Rifle, and Galahorn. So maybe you guys will see some of that Galahorn gameplay. So a lot of people were like grinding out the Galahorn, but I, I have just in school and stuff. But um, hopefully tomorrow or later today. My friends are just about to get it, so I'll like showcase them, like like I'll inspect them and like make a quick video about it. But anyway, um, I think we'll just try and kill the tank and then end the video there. But um, yeah, this is actually pretty tough. Um, Thank God it's something we know, because that new strike, I do not know how to navigate, like, the main area of it yet, and it's, like, really confusing, and it's complicated, and it's annoying, and chicken. So, yeah. Um, but so far, my thoughts on Rise of Iron, um, the game is in its most well-balanced, fun state it's ever been in since, like, this new patch, and with, there's a lot of new content, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm, I'm telling you guys the truth with this, I mean, you guys know Destiny's my favorite game and everything, but... For sure, this is definitely the best content um, that I think Bungie can give us for 30 bucks, honestly. Um, bringing back stuff that we've been asking for forever on top of like just everything that they are being able to do. Like bringing back the Galahorn, the Thorn, um, and Exotic Kebab stuff, which we've been asking for for years. Um, literally for years now. Oh shit, I just... So that guy is gonna like kill things for me now, which is really cool. That's because of my um, artifacts, the silver one. So that one's really easy. You just have to um, complete a um, like a hundred percent on that quest. That's like out of percentage. I don't even remember the name. Just just play on the in the Plaguelands area and do some strikes and bullshit, and you'll get that done. Um, then you just hand it in to the Cryptarch lady. Um, she gives you a thing. You can either choose. This one that I have, one that um, removes sprint, um, like pause or whatever it's called, sprint penalty, um, and the last one is going to be um, negates damage over time in the crucible, which is really cool, and then you just attune it next to the statue of um, the equivalent Iron Lord. So I'll be seeing you guys in just, uh, I'm going to be ending the video in just a moment, guys. just want to kill the tank first so you guys can see some cool stuff like that. Hopefully this dude shoots a Galahorn, it's okay if he doesn't, but yes, he does have the Galahorn. And someone just joined our game, so I think that's why he's rushing. He looks to be that way. But um, the, the loadout of the Kavav stuff I just showed you guys definitely feels a lot like if you guys played the Division the Vector. To me, that's what it reminds me a lot of. It's like an SMG style, um, really good weapon. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will be seeing you guys in the next one.